Today, we've tested 94 robot vacuums with a series of objective and data-driven tests to determine the best robot vacuums for 2024, taking into consideration cleaning performance, navigational abilities, usability, maintenance, and more. We've organized our picks from the most expensive models to the least. Let's start off with the most expensive and arguably best robot vacuums for 2024. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is built with the latest features and technology a robot vacuum can have. The dock, app, and robot are all designed to be easy to use, so easy you barely have to think about it. The dock has automatic features to manage daily maintenance. The robot has lifting and lowering mop pads and obstacle avoidance technology. The app has a plethora of features to get specific control over the device. Overall, the robot is just built to be incredibly user-friendly. In testing, it had fantastic debris removal performance. It removed 97.9% .9 of all debris across all floor types, handled edges and crevices without issues, and had an excellent mopping performance. However, pet hair removal wasn't perfect and long hair tangled around the brush roll. Navigation was great on a broad scale for the S8 Pro Ultra, but had some issues with the obstacle avoidance. It cleaned our office and studio space in 65 minutes, never getting stuck and fully cleaning the floor. But when tested against common household obstacles, the robot failed to avoid the mug and cord completely. What really sets this vacuum apart from the others is the features packed inside. If price isn't an issue, then the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is a fantastic pick. Being released in the later part of 2023, the Ecovax DeepBot X2 Omni comes packed with the newest features, latest tech, and it also looks the part. The whole design is sleek, modern, and high quality, including a robust docking station and D-shaped robot vacuum. In testing, the X2 Omni showcased incredible performance, removing 95.5% of all debris across all floor types. In addition, little of the hair tangled, practically all of the pet hair was removed, and a healthy amount of the dirt was cleaned up by the mop. Furthermore, the D-shaped body allowed the robot to clean along edges more effectively and it had little issue with crevices. On a broader scale, navigation was excellent for the X2. It navigated our 1,000 square foot office in 39 minutes without getting stuck. However, it did struggle more in our obstacle avoidance test, failing to avoid every object in some way. That said, obstacle avoidance could be improved with future software updates. Despite these minor issues, everything else about the X2 Omni is incredible. The docking station automatically handles daily maintenance, emptying the robot and managing the mop pads. Additionally, mop pads themselves lift when carpet is detected, which is an improvement over the previous version, the X1, which couldn't do this. The DeepBot X2 Omni is built to be a high quality robot mop combo. It costs a lot, but if you want the absolute best of the best, the X2 is it. Next, let's talk about the robot vacuums that pack a lot of features and fantastic performance, but cost a little less than the most expensive devices. Across the board, Roborock Q Revo is a fantastic device. The robot is equipped with dual spinning mop pads that raise and lower when carpet is detected. In addition, the accompanying docking station is feature packed, able to automatically handle daily maintenance for the user. Throughout testing, the Q Revo handled itself well removing 96.2% of all debris across all floor types and mopping effectively. Crevices were an issue, edges posed little threat, and the majority of pet hair was cleaned up. Long hair management was good, but not incredible, having 46.7% of the hair tangled around the brush roll. Obstacle avoidance was also a challenge for the Q Revo as it failed to avoid the core completely and had touches on the shoe and mug. That said, navigation on a broad scale posed little issue. It cleaned the entire 1,000 square foot office and studio space without getting stuck and returned to base without issue. The true advantage of the QRevo is its feature set. The auto maintenance docking station, fully featured app, and plethora of other useful features all make it a winning combination. If you're looking for a flagship robot vacuum but don't want to spend a flagship price, the Roborock QRevo is a fantastic choice. The Samsung JetBot AI Plus offers a more unique design with its D-shaped body. It comes equipped with an auto-empty docking station and other smart features that make the device more hands-free. In testing, the JetBot had fantastic results while cleaning debris. Across all floor types, it removed 95.8% of all debris and managed edges and crevices with little issue. However, that wasn't the case with both types of hair. 
more than half of the hair tangled around the brush roll, and only 66% of the pet hair was removed. In addition, the Jetbot doesn't have the mopping features. Despite these issues, it doesn't stop the robot vacuum from working well and navigating the space effectively. In testing, the robot got stuck twice on a table that often catches our robot vacuums in its snares. The leg in particular has a ramp-like structure to it that enables robots to climb up and often get stuck. Since this happens so infrequently across multiple cleaning cycles, we feel confident the vacuum is still navigating well and overall avoiding obstacles. In addition, the Samsung Jetbot AI Plus is our top performer when it comes to obstacle avoidance. While it did have two partial touches, it only snagged slightly on the corner of the device as it made a clear attempt to avoid the object. While it avoids well, it also is the slowest robot in terms of cleaning speed. Jetbot took 105 minutes to completely clean our space, whereas the average cleaning time is around 61 minutes. All that said, the Samsung Jetbot AI Plus is still a solid robot vacuum that offers a lot of smart features at a reasonable asking price. It may not be perfect, but if hair isn't a major concern and you don't need a mop, then it's a great pick. Next, let's discuss the value robot vacuums that won't break the bank, but are still capable of excellent performance. The Roomba S9 Plus is an incredible vacuum, especially in terms of performance. In testing, it removed 99% of all debris across all floor types. In addition, a healthy amount of the pet hair was cleaned up, and the D-shaped body handled edges and crevices well. The S9 Plus struggled with long hair, having the majority of it tangle around its axles, but it is still easy to remove. Due to its age, there are a few newer features that the S9 is lacking. It has no mopping functionality, nor does it have an RGB camera or LiDAR for obstacle detection and avoidance. However, the docking station can automatically enter the debris bin, and it comes with an easy-to-use app for managing the robot. Its lack of obstacle detecting features means you'll want to ensure the floor is relatively clear before cleaning. It can get stuck, but in most cases, the S9 Plus navigates well. In testing, it cleaned our 1,000 square foot office space and studio in 55 minutes, rarely getting stuck and able to return to base without issue. At the time of the S9 Plus's release in 2019, it was fairly expensive due to its flagship status. However, in the last several years, the price has declined significantly. If you don't need some of the newer bells and whistles that accompany robot vacuums released after the S9 Plus, then this is a good choice. While it's simplistic in design, the Shark Matrix still stands as an excellent robot vacuum, especially for those wanting to save a bit on debris bags. The auto-empty docking station utilizes a bagless debris bin, which saves money over its lifetime. While this improvement is appreciated, there are a few things that the Matrix lacks. It has no mop pads or obstacle avoidance technology. However, the Matrix performs well despite the lack of tech. In our test, it removed 98.3% of all debris across all floor types. Additionally, it had fantastic performance with long hair, but struggled with pet hair on carpet. Edges weren't too much of an issue for the robot, and it had perfect performance in our crevice test. While it lacks obstacle avoidance, it navigates well, assuming the floor is mostly clear of obstacles. For our 1,000 square foot office studio space, the Matrix cleaned the floor in 45 minutes, being notably faster than the average. The Shark Matrix may not include features included with some of the other robot vacuums on this list, but it offers its own advantages, including bagless stock and incredible value for the money. Considering the price, if you don't need a mop, the Matrix is a fantastic pick. Finally, let's discuss the least expensive robot vacuums on this list. The Roomba i3 Plus Evo is a fantastic robot vacuum, especially considering the price. Despite not being the latest and greatest from Roomba, it still packs an auto-emptying dock, improved mapping functionality, and fantastic clean performance. In testing, it removed 99% of all debris across all floor types. In addition, pet hair performance was fantastic, edge debris removal was great, and it handled crevices perfectly. However, the i3 Plus Evo struggled with long hair, having the majority of strands tangled around the brush roll. Beyond that, the robot vacuum navigated well on a broad scale. It didn't get stuck and returned to base consistently. That said, it lacks an RGB camera or any form of object recognition, so you will need to make sure the floor is relatively clean when cleaning. The Roomba i3 Plus Evo has a lot to offer, especially when you consider how relatively cheap it is compared to other robot vacuums on the market. It doesn't have everything, but it packs a lot of features and excellent cleaning performance into a very compelling price point. The Roborock S7 is a robot mop combo device that packs excellent debris removal performance, cleaning up 96.7% of all debris across all floor types. 
furthermore, it had practically perfect performance in our edge and crevice test and cleaned a healthy amount of dirt while mopping. However, the S7 had nearly all of the long hair tangle around the brush roll and only removed 66% of the pet hair. In addition, the mopping feature does not lift up to avoid carpets and the robot lacks obstacle recognition. That said, navigation performance was solid despite the lack of the newer tech. It rarely got stuck and always returned to base, cleaning our entire space in 70 minutes. The S7 doesn't come with an auto emptying dock, but it is compatible with one. Without it, you'll need to empty the debris manually and manage the mop and water supply. Beyond that, the robot is fairly autonomous, especially if set up with the Robust app. All in all, what makes the Roborock S7 truly great is the level of performance at this asking price. It's definitely not the most advanced robot on the market, but given the feature set for this price, it provides a lot of value for the money. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. We test the score robot vacuum cleaners using a battery of 13 data-driven tests. Our tests are a mix of objective testing and subjective assessment, taking into consideration cleaning performance, build quality, navigational abilities, usability, and maintenance. In choosing the best robot vacuums, we based our selection on the top performing and highest scoring robot vacuums according to our objective testing. These tests analyze the device's performance across five critical factors. Additionally, price and value were also taken into consideration. While there are other robot vacuums that could have appeared on our list, we wanted to include the best options available at a range of price points. Our testing process is detailed and exacting. The links in the description have detailed write-ups and graphs to explain our testing process, scoring formulas, and the criteria for how we choose the best robot vacuums. Cleaning performance is one of the most important factors for a robot vacuum, with debris removal being of the utmost importance. In addition to testing debris removal, we also check how well the robot vacuum manages long hair and pet hair, cleans along edges and in crevices, and, if available, how well it mops. Across all floor and debris types, none of the vacuums had cleaning results below 95% overall. The robots that struggled the most, albeit not by much, were the Ecovax DeepBot X2 Omni and Roborock Q Revo, with the Revo receiving the lowest score of 95.2%. However, all robot vacuums were notably better than our testing average, which is the 92.5% debris removal score. Long hair performance wasn't nearly as impressive. The majority of our robots failed to avoid long hair tangles. That said, robot vacuums do tend to struggle with long hair. On average, robot vacuums we test have 48.2% of the hair tangle in the brush roll. Only the Ecovax X2 Omni, Roborock Q Revo, and Shark Matrix had better results than average. Even then, the Q Revo only barely beat the average. Again, pet hair performance wasn't perfect for every robot. The average robot we test removed 75.6% of the pet hair and half of the robots on this list beat the average, with the X2 Omni being the best. On the other hand, half of the robots failed to beat the average, with the Shark Matrix being the worst. Beyond that, edges and crevices didn't pose a major threat to any robot and any of the devices that had mops had great mopping performance. Navigation encompasses the robot's ability to clean on a broad scale without getting stuck, how quickly it can clean, and the effectiveness of its obstacle avoidance technology. Across the board, all robots cleaned our office and studio space fairly effectively without getting stuck and returned to the base every time. The X2 Omni was the fastest at 39 minutes, while the Samsung JetBot AI Plus was the slowest at 105 minutes. The biggest difference between the robots is the presence or lack of obstacle avoidance technology and how well it performs. The Roborock S7, i3 Plus Evo, and Shark Matrix all lack obstacle avoidance technology and completely fail the test. However, no other robot vacuum on this list had perfect performance across the board. The Samsung JetBot AI Plus was the closest to perfection with two partial touches on the cord and shoot. Every other robot had more partial touches or failed to avoid some objects completely. To measure how loud a robot is while in operation, we run the device in each power mode on high power carpet. Using a sound meter, we measure the level of noise generated from about three feet away. 
In addition, we measure how well the self-emptying feature is while in operation. Across all the robot's highest suction modes, the level of noise is fairly similar. All robots made noise in the 65 to 75 decibel range, with the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra being the loudest at 74.5 decibels. The Shark Matrix was the quietest on its highest power mode at 65.1 decibels, but the Ecopax Deepbot X2 Omni was the quietest overall at 53.0 decibels on its lowest suction power. Usability ranges for each robot vacuum depending on what features are available to it. Some devices, including the Ecovacs Deepbot X2 Omni and Roborock S8 Pro Ultra, come with robust docking stations that automatically perform maintenance. Others, like the Roborock S7, lack a docking station, but have mopping functionality. Multiple robots on this list lack the mopping feature and function only as a vacuum. The table on screen shows which features and accessories are included with each vacuum. Please keep in mind that some vacuums have multiple variants that may come with a different set of accessories. Maintenance varies depending on the set of features and inclusion or lack of a docking station. Robots with docks and mops like the Roborock Q Revo, S8 Pro Ultra, and Ecovacs Deepbot X2 Omni require less daily maintenance thanks to the dock. However, the dock itself will require maintenance and the frequency will vary depending on use. In addition, these robots tend to be the most expensive to maintain annually as they require the most things that need replacing. On the other hand, robots including the Roomba S9 Plus, Roomba i3 Plus Evo, Samsung Jetbot AI Plus, and Shark Matrix all have the docking station but lack the mop. This requires a lot less maintenance than the more fully featured docks, but still costs a little bit more in terms of maintenance and time than your more basic docks. The notable exception to this is the Shark Matrix, which has a bagless debris bin and therefore costs the least. The Roborock S7 has mopping functionality, but lacks the docking station. While it's compatible with one, it doesn't come with it upon the initial purchase. The robot will require the most frequent attention, but will be one of the cheaper options to maintain. So, which of these robots is the best choice for your home? While price can be important, there are differences that may make one robot more appealing than another. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra and Ecovacs Deepbot X2 Omni are the most expensive and offer the latest and greatest features on the market. The S8 Pro Ultra is a powerhouse of a vacuum, cleaning well, and offering a great feature set to make the device more hands-free. In my view, the S8 Pro Ultra is the best robot vacuum on the market and is what I use for personal use. The X2 Omni offers the D-shaped body for better edges and corners, a great feature set, and nearly perfect performance for both hair types. If you're looking to spend a little less but still keep a lot of the features, both the Roborock Q Revo and Samsung Jetbot AI Plus are great options. The Q Revo offers many of the same features from other top-of-the-line robots, including mop paths, a fully featured dock, and solid cleaning performance. The Samsung Jetbot AI Plus forgoes the mop pads, but still has great performance, especially in regards to obstacle avoidance and navigation. If you're looking for a better value, you may want to go with the Roomba S9 Plus or Shark Matrix. The Roomba S9 Plus offers the D-shaped body in a tried and tested design. It cleans well, navigates effectively, and offers an auto-empty base to boot. The Shark Matrix has great performance as well, especially with long hair. In addition, the auto-empty docking station is bagless, reducing annual maintenance costs over time. Finally, if you're looking for the least expensive options that can still perform well, then the Roomba i3 Plus Evo and Roborock S7 are the ones to pick. The Roomba i3 Plus Evo offers an auto-empty docking station and great performance while cleaning, especially with debris. The Roborock S7 lacks a docking station, but has mopping functionality to act as a combo device. Again, it also offers great performance with debris removal, making it a fantastic pick as well. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you're helpful. Comment questions, please drop those notes down below. If you're interested in buying any of these robots, we've got links in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.